In this presentation, I will share with you seven things you didn't know about emotions. This information will help you find a more peaceful life and learn how to manage your feelings on a daily basis. Let's explore these seven things. There are no bad emotions. We have been educated to classify what we feel as right or wrong. The reality is that every emotion plays an essential role in your life. We confuse destructive or bad attitudes with the emotions we experience. However, if you block a feeling you don't want to experience, you will be stuck in the same place for a long time. You can learn to observe emotions. You don't have to judge your emotions. When you feel a feeling rising, you can simply observe it. You can do so by taking several conscious breaths in and out. Observe your breath at least three times. Then observe the emotions and thoughts that go through your mind. Accept them as they are. You cannot avoid them. They are there. Finally, as soon as an emotion tends to overwhelm you, try to go back to what started it, then to your breath. There are only two emotions. Love and fear govern everything we experience. The rest of the emotions you experience are variations of one or the other. Emotions perceived as unfavorable derive from fear, and emotions that are perceived as positive arise from love. They can help you grow. Our emotions can help us heal, but they can also hurt us. Emotions are vibrations inside our bodies. Each emotion has its strength as well as its personality. They can appear and disappear depending on how strong and how much we put attention and energy to them. If we take the time to explore the emotion, we can learn a lot about us and discover what aspect of us needs to heal. You don't have always to embody the emotion. Realize that we have the power to act instead of reacting. The verb to act is defined as to enter the scene, to come into play. It comes from oneself. We put ourselves into action. The verb to react is defined as presenting a modification in response to the action of an external agent, which means we're responding to someone or something that we don't have control over. When we experience emotions, we can choose not to react to the emotion, mainly if others trigger it, and experience it in a healthy way. Act. The expression of an emotion is normally 90 seconds. An emotion is a physiological reaction, not a psychological reaction. All humans have the same emotions regardless of age, but adults have, in general, the ability to regulate and temper them. The expression of emotion lasts about 90 seconds and takes place in three stages. The charge, the rise of the body sensations, tension, the feeling comes into action and behavior, and the discharge, like crying, screaming, or shaking. Besides, it takes six seconds to absorb an emotion in the body. If you experience an emotion for a long time, it's because you choose to experience it longer. Emotions are very contagious. When we see someone experiencing an emotion, our brain stimulates it. We feel that emotion in our bodies. It's what we often call empathy. Not only can we feel someone else's emotion, it can also be expressed in our facial muscles with a smile, frown, etc. Emotions are contagious. It is to our advantage when we experience positive emotions, but can be detrimental to a situation when it is a negative emotion. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by All Super Info.